Hi students, welcome. In this video, we are going to study about friction, types of friction, limiting friction, laws of static friction, laws of dynamic or kinetic friction, and coefficient of friction. So students, here suppose this straight line we will consider as a um, rough rough surface okay and on this rough surface there is a stationary body on this stationary body when we applied this force in rightward direction in this direction as you can see the body will move and the motion of the body will be in right direction as you can see here and in this case students due to this roughness of the surface this rough surface will apply the opposite force on this body in the left direction which will retard the motion of the body or we can call it as the reduces the velocity of this body in the right direction as you can see here when we apply the force and the motion of the body in right direct rightward direction there will be the generation of the opposite force to retard the motion of the body in rightward direction due to the sur surface roughness of this surface okay this opposite force which will be produced by the surface roughness is called as force of friction or we can call, call it as as simply frictional force okay so see here a force acting in the opposite direction to the motion of the body is called force of friction or simply friction as you can as we have seen in this diagram the body is moving in the rightward direction and force of friction is applied due by the surface roughness is in opposite direction which will retard the motion of the body or reduces the motion of the body okay so further here see this force of friction or friction is further divided into static friction and dynamic friction okay so here in this case in this diagram this is this straight line is a surface on this surface there is a body which is a stationary and the bo this body is remains stationary due to the force of friction which will be the surface irregularities of the surface okay and this body will remain in this position due to the irregularities or the surface roughness force or frictional force of this surface this is called as a static friction because the body is stationary in this case and dynamic friction example is as we have seen previously further here seeing the friction experienced by a body when at rest is known as static friction as we have seen this this example further the friction experienced by a body when in motion is called as dynamic friction or kinetic friction okay this is the first example we have seen is the example of the dynamic friction or kinetic friction as there is a moving body okay further this dynamic friction is further divided into sliding friction and rolling friction okay so see here these are two bodies as you can see here these two bodies are here sliding on each other as you can see here this upper body is moving in rightward direction and this lower body is moving in the leftward direction and these due to the motion of uh, uh, due to this motion these two, both the bodies are experiencing sliding friction because these two bodies are sliding over each other as you can see here further this is the example of the rolling friction this is the shaft and this dark portion as you can see here consider as a bearing inside that bearing the shaft will rotate as you can see here due to this rotation in the bearing bearing and this shaft experiencing some friction this is called as rolling friction as the shaft is rotating inside this bearing okay further see the friction experienced by a body when it slides over on the body is known as sliding friction as we have seen in this example okay further 
द फ्रिक्शन एक्सपीरियंस बाई अबॉड इवेन इट बॉल्स और रोलर्स आर इंटरपोज बिटवीन द टू सर्फेस इज नोन एज रोलिंग फ्रिक्शन एज वी हैव सीन इन दिस एग्जाम्पल ओके फर्दर नाउ वील सी द लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन वॉट इज लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन सो हियर सपोज दिस इज अ सर्फेस and this has the surface has some irregularities or surface roughness and when we apply the force on this body suppose this body is stationary and when we apply the force on this body the for some force the, the body will remain stationary and after some value of the applied force the body will start moving this point at which the body will start moving is called as limiting friction that value is called as limiting friction that is when when the applied force is greater than the surface reference force or frictional force then the body will start moving okay that is the maximum value of the frictional force maximum value of the frictional force at which the body starts moving is called as limiting friction okay so further see here another example these are two bodies and suppose these two bodies are stationary when we applied the upper body force in the upper body the right rightward force and for the lower body the leftward force as you can see here for some point the both the bodies remains stationary and after the maximum frictional force attained that is um, that is the when we break the maximum friction force value the body will start slide over each other okay and this point at which the body begins to slide over each other is known as limiting friction okay further see the maximum value of friction force which comes into play when a body just begins to slide over the surface of the other body is known as limiting friction okay further laws of static friction here the force of friction always acts in direction opposite to that in which the body tends to move as we have seen he seen for uh, already so now again see here uh, this is the surface on this surface there is a body as you can see here p is the force and due to this p force body is moving in the rightward direction and the frictional force applied is in opposite direction as you can see here f is the frictional force and the this frictional force is equal to mu rn here mu is the coefficient of friction and rn is the normal reaction as you can see here weight of the body is applied in downward direction vertically downwards and due to this there is a normal reaction as you can see here rn in vertically upwards okay further see the magnitude of force of friction is exactly equal to the force which tends the body to move okay magnitude of this f is equal to p okay now further the magnitude of limiting friction bears a constant ratio between the normal reaction between the two surfaces as you can see here this is the normal reaction okay further the force of friction is independent of the area of contact between the two surfaces the force of friction this force of friction is independent of the area of contact between the two surfaces that is this is the ground suppose this is the straight line is the surface and the bottom portion of this body is another surface between these two surfaces okay further further see here the force of friction depends upon the roughness of the surface as we have seen earlier the force of friction is depends on the surface roughness okay further laws of dynamic friction here this is the same diagram as we have seen the force of friction always acts in a direction opposite to that in which the body tends to move okay further the magnitude of the limiting friction bears a constant ratio between the normal reaction between the two surfaces as we have seen previously for moderate speeds the force of friction remains constant but it decreases slightly with increase of speed okay so moderate uh, for moderate speeds the force of friction remains constant but it decreases slightly with increase of speed when we increase the speed of this body the there is a decrease in the magnitude of the 
frictional force okay so here now coefficient of friction here this is the diagram as we have seen previously here the force of friction is given by mu rn so here mu is the coefficient of friction so coefficient of friction is equal to force of friction upon normal reaction okay so here coefficient of friction is defined as the ratio of limiting friction f to the normal reaction rn between the two bodies it is denoted by mu okay so here mu is equal to limiting friction or we can call it as the force of friction upon rn that is normal reaction okay so students in this video we have understood about friction and its types laws of friction and coefficient of friction thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you